Hi guys, hi good people. How is it going? So who is feeling like an imposter? <laughs> Our video today is about the imposter syndrome. And let me tell you, if you don't know what that is, please stick around because I bet you a lot of people have the imposter syndrome. They just don't know the name to call it or they just don't know what it's called. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Mudoni Mukirin Joroge. I am a personal development and mindset coach. We are all about emotional and mental wellness. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am also a practicing coach. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions and I also have packages and programs that I have. In case you're struggling with something to do with emotional and mental wellness, hit me up. So the imposter syndrome. The imposter syndrome is that... Is that feeling, is that thought that makes you feel like you are a fraud or that, um, or makes you feel like, for example, if you accomplish something, you accomplish, uh, maybe you get a promoted at work, you win an award or you, you accomplish something and then you start feeling like you don't deserve it. Like it's a matter of time before people realize uh, you did not deserve that promotion or you did not deserve that award or it's just a difference between how you perceive yourself and how other people perceive you so you f keep feeling like people you're gonna get caught or like people will realize you know you're not even all that or what your success is not like well deserved or well earned you you feel like you have that doubt in yourself uh, and it happens to people who are high achievers, like people who have very high academic qualifications, people who have, are very successful, people who are doing well, people who are really skilled and people who know their thing and people who are well accomplished. To some extent, you feel like you are a lie, like you're lying to people. It's just a, a matter of time before they catch you, before they realize that uh, you're not worth of that success. And mind you, furthermore, it doesn't mean you didn't work for that success. It doesn't mean you don't deserve it. It doesn't mean you um, you lied or you did something illegal to get that success. You earned it. But somewhere deep down in your head, you tell yourself, I'm not good enough or it's just a matter of time before my clients realize I'm not all that or I'm not that uh, accomplished or I, you know, I might have gotten my master's or my degree, but I'm not all that. You know, thinking you are a fraudster. Basically, uh, imposter syndrome is a conflict in your head about a difference in conflict about what people perceive you, who people perceive you to be and who you perceive yourself to be. Yeah, and the reason we have that is, you know, we, we show our best selves out here. We show up when we are well dressed, when we are makeup, when we have our perfumes, when we are well presented. But so that is what people see your best presentation. Maybe you are organized at work, you're good at your job, you are good when it comes to presentations. That is what people see. But when you're on your own, you know your imperfections, you know your downside, you know your addictions, you know what you're struggling with them they don't know no no because also the fact that you know your downside side when people praise you so much you start thinking like you're not worthy of that because you know all your sides but they don't yeah so the imposter syndrome could come with anxiety depression and guilt like feeling so guilty being so depressed and also getting anxious uh you know waiting for people to to call you out or to pick you out because you don't think you're doubting your abilities you don't think you're as accomplished as other people perceive you and so when people praise you when people want to um uh, when maybe your boss wants to praise you when it's an award ceremony you feel like you want to hide you feel like they're gonna realize like but this is not well deserved or i didn't really work for this is this something you, you guys have experienced because it's something i have experienced even right now with what i'm doing my coaching business sometimes like okay i'm like okay when a client tells me she, uh that we did a session or we did a package that really came through for her that really helped her and she's doing better sometimes i'm like am i the one who did that was it really me you know yeah so there are ways you can deal with the imposter syndrome that's what i want to talk about because if you don't deal with it it will cripple you like you feel like you really need to do so much to um to be recognized or sometimes it can stop you from going after success because you feel like you don't deserve it you feel like uh 
you are not who should be that successful like it's someone else's success people who have uh, the imposter syndrome are perfectionists and people who uh, are self efficacy can i say that is that a word yeah people who are perfectionists like you have to do everything right and you have to do everything to the letter and you feel like that success uh, deserves someone who has had sleepless nights who has gone on hunger strikes who's really disciplined and who's really perfect and who's straight in all ways you feel like that success is deserved by someone who's perfect and perfectionism doesn't exist there's nothing as perfect the only people who are perfect are in heaven and and are angels we don't have that in the in the world we don't have that as human beings yeah so uh if you are a perfectionist you really want to do everything um you really want everything to be aligned to be a hundred percent and nothing can go according to that and nothing can ever be perfect yeah and a lot of imposter syndrome comes from uh if you had a high pressure from your uh your um your guardians or your parents to perform in school if you are criticized openly and in a serious way that's why you criticize yourself like that if you are compared to your siblings a lot if if you are if you were called out about a lot of things you had to really be a high achiever you had to really be perform as a child and jury and, and in your upbringing then you could have the imposter syndrome because it makes you feel like you're not good enough like you're not worthy of that like you're not leveling up yeah so what are some of the ways that you can deal with the imposter syndrome number one uh, associate yourself with the right people associate with people who uh, make you feel you deserve whatever it is you got associate with people who identify your skills and who are proud of you and who tell you you're doing a wonderful job also associate yourself with people who are also on your level so as much as you are achieving the other person is achieving the other person is achieving so you start feeling like when you achieve and everybody maybe your peers are way all below you so you can stop feeling like it, you don't deserve it like they are gonna uh, call you out like you're waiting for them to discover you're not who you say you are and something like that surround yourself with the right people another thing is to acknowledge your feelings and acknowledge your success by looking at how you've climbed the ladder of success by looking at the number of accolades or awards you've won by looking at your journey from when you left campus or from when you started this and this by looking at what you've had to do to get to that point sit down and acknowledge your accomplishments acknowledge your feelings first this is what i'm feeling i'm feeling like a fraud i'm feeling like it's just a matter of time before people discover i am not who they, they think i am and all that uh, identify those and then why are you feeling that probably you need to sit down and look at your success like an outsider you know how many awards uh what promotion did you get what have you done to get how, what have you had to do to get that promotion how has your journey been even from campus how have you tried to make your life better and so that you can see that it's well deserved or you deserve success or you or you deserve to be there another thing is to stop and avoid comparing yourself if you were uh, compared so much when you were growing up to your siblings to your neighbors children to other people you grew up with that thing you feel like you have because comparing you, you to them makes you makes you think or feel like you have to be better than them it's the same thing you feel like you have to do extra thing no how can i feel accomplished if this other person is doing way better than me yeah stop comparing yourself and i always say your only competition is the person you were yesterday or the person you you want or the person you, are, you you want to be better than okay your only competition is the person you were yesterday your only competition is you, your only competition is your procrastination is your uh, bad behavior is your in this self in discipline that is your competition your competition is not the other woman she's doing her thing she's in her path you don't know what her goals are what she wants to accomplish in life maybe even whatever she's accomplished is out of luck yeah and you're busy competing competing or maybe she even comes from a rich family and you're there still competing and all that i'm not saying you can't get rich on your own you guys get the point yeah your only competition is you from who you you are to who you want to become 
without looking at other people's journey and what other people are doing. Another thing is to stop perfection. Stop perfection. It doesn't exist. It will never exist. You will never get there. It will just tire you so much. It will take your time, your money, your everything trying to be perfect. You will never get there. And you always feel that feeling of inadequacy when you strive for perfection. So understand no one will be perfect and also focus. If you want to stop being perfect, I also sometimes have that perfectionist thing. Focus on doing the best you can and making yourself proud. Doing the best you can and moving the next step. Watch out the overall perfectionism because it doesn't exist. The last thing you need to do is to visualize success. A lot of times the reason we have the imposter syndrome is because when success comes, we don't know what it's supposed to look like. So we don't recognize it. Visualize what success is for you. For my business, I visualize success. This would be success for me. This would be success for me. So that when I achieve it, I won't start feeling like, oh, I don't deserve this. Oh, okay. Is this success? No. Is this what it was supposed to be like? So I stop having the, the fraud feeling of feeling like I'm, uh, I'm a fraud or I'm, I'm doing something I'm not supposed to do or I'm, be I'm behaving like someone who I'm not. Yeah? visualize success what is the picture of success for you what is it supposed to look like so that when you get there you will know this is what i wanted this is what i visualized if it becomes better than that well and good but don't just sit and work hard work hard without thinking what success will look like and when it comes you start feeling like an imposter you start feeling like you're, you're just so scared you know you feel like you want to hide when you're successful because you keep waiting for people to discover you for people to discover you you're not who you you say you are it's okay it's totally okay some of things these things happen and if, if you've been struggling with imposter syndrome it's totally okay sometimes people high achievers struggle with it sometimes you can find yourself asking yourself those weird questions but always remember stop striving for per perfection visualize success surround yourself with the right people acknowledge your success and more a lot more that i've spoken in this video so i wish you all the best have a wonderful afternoon thank you so much for watching 